Good evening from Nagoya, Japan. I am staying tonight in a capsule hotel. It is my first time ever to stay in a capsule hotel here in Japan. Maybe you've seen these somewhere on the news or on YouTube or somewhere. There are these little tiny, tiny cubicles just big enough for your body that you sleep in, like a big, big wall full of them, like a honeycomb. So anyway, I'm gonna go find this place and uh, check out my first capsule hotel of my life. I'm kind of excited, I'm kind of nervous. What's it gonna be like? Am I gonna get any sleep at all? Am I gonna get good sleep? Who knows? The hotel is called Nine Hours, meaning the quickest hotel stay possible while still getting a solid seven hours of sleep. My sleep pod cost 3,689 yen, and I opted for the 580 yen breakfast. The hotel is on 10 floors, with separate floors and elevators for men and women. My pod is number 709, on the 7th floor. But first I was told to go to the 2nd floor, the men's locker room and shower area. Amenities are in your locker, and you're supposed to leave your big bags there overnight, rather than lug them up to your pod. On the seventh floor, I finally pulled back the door to get my first look at these space age sleep pods. My home for the night. Up to 26 people in a space probably the size of two normal hotel rooms. There's a vinyl curtain, but no lock. And don't expect much from the walls. This is more about privacy than security, per se. Okay. I can't talk very loud, but this is it. You get a blanket and a pillow curved like the pot itself. A panel overhead has a power outlet, a light dimmer, and a USB port. and it's perfectly comfortable. I'm about 5'9 and had plenty of room, even stretched out. As for that amenities bag, you get a bath towel for your shower, a face towel for the sink, your own personal bath mat, pajamas, slippers, although I was unsure where exactly these are supposed to be used, I wore my shoes into the room and I wasn't the only one. And a toothbrush and toothpaste kit. By the way, the only toiletries I brought from home was deodorant. Everything else is provided, as we'll see when it's shower time later. There's a single bathroom, the only thing besides sleep pods on the seventh floor. Besides the view, I guess. Okay, there aren't that many people here, but there are a couple other people in their pods and it's very, very quiet, and I feel bad talking in there, so I haven't really said anything on video in the pod, but here's the bathroom. Uh, it's, everything here is very, very nice and very clean, so there's a toilet here, but there's, like, carpeting here in the bathroom. Everything seems like it's super-duper clean all the time. Soap and paper towels, nice, modern-looking sink. It is a washlet uh, toilet, so here's the bidet and all those sorts of controls. Not much else to say about the toilet, but here it is. I did make one faux pas. When I went in, there's a big sign on the wall that said, uh, please take your shoes off and use the slippers, and I didn't. Um, so I have to figure out what to do, because there's no rack for the shoes outside, so I don't know what you're supposed to do with them. Now, by the way, in case you don't know, I have a free email newsletter that you sign up, and every week I'll send you an email with a link to my newest video before everybody else sees it, before it's public on YouTube. It's free, and there's a link in the description. And if you would like to super support this channel, you can go to Patreon. You can choose a tier there to support and get various perks and stuff. So many thanks to my patrons, including the great William Phillips. There was supposedly Wi-Fi throughout the building, and indeed, it worked very well everywhere I tried it. I got some dinner from a nearby convenience store because the staff told me you can eat outside food in a 10th floor lounge. It's a nice place, cozy and clean, with a nice view of Nagoya, despite the rain.
This is the only place besides the lobby that's for women and men. I actually hung out here most of the evening, a bit nicer than the pod. And I had an epiphany about shoes. Maybe you're supposed to leave them in the locker and just use the slippers throughout the hotel. That would be the same as some other Japanese hotels. But the absence of shoe racks or plastic bags for the shoes calls that into question. There's always a clear shoe policy in Japan, but here it was vague at best. I just put my shoes where a suitcase would go in my locker and flattered myself that I was being an obedient customer. And with that, it was shower time. Every product in Japan, for some reason, has to have some hyperdramatic poetic solemnities written on it in English. In the case of this shower door, <gasps> droplets flow down your body, gently immersing you in a new shower experience. The straight columnar spray pattern traps heat and delivers warm droplets to your body, a showering experience that will seem like a relaxing soak in a warm bathtub. I mean, it's nice, I guess. Pretty swanky. I wouldn't say I had any new shower experience, really. Certainly had worse, though. Okay, well, the sleeping was kind of 50-50. All night, it was pretty good. It, the bedding was fine, it was really comfortable, um, and it was quiet until about five o'clock or so. Uh, every few minutes, it seemed, somebody's alarm would go off. Different people were waking up. Everybody's, we're all using our phones for the alarms, you know? And that kept waking me up, and a lot of people were using snooze, so I'd hear the same alarm every five minutes for an hour. So it was kind of hard to get much sleep after about 5 or 5.30, but overall, it was pretty cool. The breakfast was good, had a little scone and some kind of super highfalutin coffee. If you're into coffee culture, here's some information for you. So would I do it again? Um, probably. For the experience, yes. For that price, I don't know. It wasn't super discounted from a regular hotel, really. It was, it was, it was saving some money, but not as much as I would have hoped. Thanks for coming with me to the Capsule Hotel, and now my super cool limited express train back to Osaka. <laughs>